Doctor Who, The Spearhead from Space, Episode 3, The Fingers of the Mannequin's Right Hand, Dropped a Veal Weapon. Ransom dodges behind the tank that runs for the exit. The Mannequin fires but misses and chases Ransom out of the building. Ransom runs down the fire escape and hides in a small lean-to. A Scooby, Herbert and Channing walk past. Fracture Yard. Scooby, it seems awfully deserted. Herbert, we're running out, we're turning over to auto-notation. General, it means we can keep staff down to a minimum. Scooby, splendid. Don't get machines going on strike, huh? Channing legs behind, looks at the mannequin at the top of the fire escape. It drops its gun arm and heads back into the building. Ransom comes out of her hiding and leaves. Factory entrance, Herbert. Your car is waiting for you, General. Scooby, well, goodbye, Mr. Channing. I hope the replica turns out well. It's been a most interesting afternoon. Channing, goodbye, sir. Herbert, it was very good of you to come down here, General. I know how busy you must be. Scooby, my pleasure, gentlemen. By the way, any chance of seeing the, the model you're making of me before it's sent to Madame Tussauds? Channing, well, we arranged, we arranged that. Ransom climbs over the factory wall and runs away, terrified. Control room. Herbert, how did you know it was Ransom? Channing, I saw him. And he was, de- and he was detected. That is his brain print. Herbert, what will you do? Channing, send an autumn. Herbert, but it will kill him. Channing, it is necessary, Herbert. You saw the security area and all this. Think, think. Then you see what it, that it is necessary. Herbert, you're necessary. How will it find him? Channing looks at the mannequin. It walks towards him. Oxley Wood. A unit soldier standing by a land river. When Ransom comes running through the woods. Ransom, please, please help me. Ransom collapses. Outside Steely's cottage. Steely is chopping wood. Meg, just seen more of them soldiers coming through the village. Steely, but still looking for them thunderbolts, I bet. Meg, it's, it's saying they found one. That's how that poor fellow got killed. Steely, killed? Who got killed? Meg, the driver, the soldier was driving. They reckon his neck broken, broke clean through. Steely, Accident or something? Meg, according to the army. Seely, well then. Meg, well, drove right off the road, he did. So he must have made him do that. Seely, I never known a woman as fanciful as you, Meg. Meg, then why are the soldiers still here? Then, Constable Wilkes said a boy's, poor boy's face was terrible, was terrible to look at. Something must have frightened him dreadful before he died. Unit Field HQ. In a tent with some packing cases, Moreau tries to get Ransom to drink some tea. Moreau, come on, come on, try and drink some. Ransom doesn't swallow. Ransom, no eyes, no hair, just stares. Moreau, what? Ransom, men, creatures made in the factory. Moreau, sergeant, I want this man sent to HQ right away. Unit laboratory. The twist equipment is getting more sophisticated. Liz, are you getting a reading? Doctor, no. Liz, well, that's it. I can't think of anything else we can try. Doctor, well, don't worry, my dear. We've done our best. Liz, I can't understand it. We've tried a dozen different methods to analyse and haven't identified a single element. Doctor, yes. What results can you expect with your, this primitive equipment? Liz, primitive? We've got lasers, spectrographs, micron probes. Doctor, yes, 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 I know all that. But we really need a natural monocular rectifier. Liz, what on earth is that? Liz, Doctor, not on earth, unfortunately, but I think I have a, one in a TARDIS. Liz, in there? Doctor, yes, I'm sure I have one somewhere. But I'm, but I'm sure I used to... Used it one some time in the past, or was it in the future? 
Liz, Doctor, you really do have a... Do Liz, Doctor, do you, you really do have scientific equipment in there? Doctor, yes, dear. Liz, I have an entire labor laboratory. Liz, yes, yes, I'm sure you have. Doctor, no, no, it's true. Well, you think that the TARDIS isn't big enough, don't you? That's because you keep looking at it simply as a police box. Liz, well, it is only a police box. Doctor, oh no, not once you get inside, it isn't. You see, Liz, the TARDIS is dimensionally transcendental. Liz, oh, I see. Doctor, yes, it would take far too long to try and explain that to you. The important thing is that you've got to get this material analysed. Liz, and you could do that with your equipment? Dr. Charles Play. The only trouble is left Bridge Stewart has taken away the key. I can't get inside. Liz, well, I suppose it's your property. Doctor, yes, of course. There's always a possibility you might be able to persuade him to part with it. Unit Field HQ. Moreau is reporting on the field telephone. A row. We've drawn a very tight cordon around the area. Sir, so if anyone has, take, has taken it, they're not going to get far. Right, sir, I will. Seely. Here, what are you doing? Sergeant, <laughs> civilian here, sir. Wants to know how much reward for finding a thunderball. Moreau, what's your name? Seely, Seely, sir. Sam Seely. Moreau, and where do you live, sir, Mr. Seely? Silly local, sir. Brook Cottage. Bro. All right. So, you got something to tell me about those meteorites? See me, sir? Bro. You asked if there's a rule for finding one. See. Oh, that's right. Bro. So, you never. You so say you know where to find one? Silly. I never said that, sir. Bro. Well, then why are you interested in a rule? Silly. Well, in case I might happen to come across one, like. Bro. Where? About the day those meteorites landed? See any motorites? Don't know about that. Thunderbolts, I call them. Bro, so you were out. Seely, I might have been. Then again, I might not. Bro, did you see any of them land? Mr. Seely, I want the truth. Control room. Chanting the Ultrons have lost ransom. He'd be on their range. Herbert, suppose he don't go to unit. Channing, do you think they'll believe him? Herbert. They might come here, telling, then you, you'll deal with them. Soon it'll be the final phrase of the pan. Herbert, but there's still one, one energy unit missing. Telling a swarm leader, we'll find it. Herbert, what about Ransom? Is he safe now? Telling, unless he returns to the area. If he does, the Alterns will track him down and destroy him. Brigadier's office, Ransom, the the face is smooth, shiny, plastic, made in a factory. Brilliant. Why do you say that? Ransom, well, just because this thing came after me. I've passed the whole line of them. They were all exactly the same. Brilliant. It's quite a story, Mr. Ransom. Liz knocks and enters. Brigadier, yes? Liz, can I have a word with you, Brigadier? Brigadier, not now. I'm busy. Liz, it's rather important. You see, the doctor thinks. Brilliant, is sure. Your work in the laboratory is part of one big exercise. You have to be patient. You say this a creature was armed. Ransom it took off its hand. Liz sees the TARDIS key in the brigadier's desk. Ransom, there's a sort of tube, hole, and the hole of the arm appeared to be hollow. Well, you should see the hole. It blasted in the wall. In the wall. Behind the brigadier's back, Liz takes the keys and leaves. Brigadier, then... There was an explosion? Ransom, yes, I suppose so. Not loud. It was more like a sort of whoosh that a rocket makes. Brigadier, and this didn't attract anyone's attention? Ransom, well, I didn't see a, a living soul in that part of the factory. They seemed to have sacked all the workers. Completely automated now. Brigadier, how long have you been away in America, Mr. Ransom? Ransom, uh, six months. Brigadier, none of this... Was it? None of this was in evidence before you left. New production lines changing over to the automation. Not steps that occur overnight, are they? Ransom agree. You see, with you, sir. Well, but it's happened. Brigadier, the key. Unit, Univer laboratory. 
This gives the key to the doctor. Doctor, I'm afraid we're going to be awfully cross with you. I'm afraid he's going to be awfully cross with you. Liz, well, you're quite, you're, you're, if you're quick, you might, mightn't even miss it. Doctor opens the TARDIS door. Liz, we don't, it doesn't turn when the doctor tried to open it. Didn't turn when the doc, Brigadier tried to t- open it. Brigadier, doctor, well, that's because the lock is, has a mechanism, me, me, metabolic dealism detector. The doctor enters the TARDIS, the brigadier enters the lab. Brigadier, Miss Friol, where's that key? You're giving it to him. Liz, he needed some equipment. Brigadier, some equipment? I've no idea. You could be so, so gullible. That's an excuse. You can't see him again. You won't see him again. Liz, oh, what do you mean? Brigadier, listen. A TARDIS dismantulation sequence starts by stuttering. Brigadier is going. There's a sound, a small explosion inside the TARDIS. Some smoke comes out. And now he's grinds to a halt. A doctor emerges, coughing. Doctor, just testing. I wanted to see if it... I wanted to see if the controls... This, doctor, you tricked me. Doctor, yes, the temptation is too strong, my dear. It's just I couldn't bear the thought of being tied to one planet at one time. I'm sorry. It won't happen again. Really, it won't. Give me the key, doctor. Doctor, must I? The TARDIS no longer works, as you saw. Pretty well, you can give... Will you give me your word you'll not try to escape again? Doctor, I couldn't escape now if, if I wanted to. They trapped me here. Liz, who have? Doctor, that mean, despicable, underhanded lot. They've changed the dematerialization code. Brigadier, the what? Brigadier, Doctor, the dematerial. It doesn't matter. You wouldn't understand anyway. Brigadier, that's another great deal. There's a great deal I don't understand, but one thing I do understand. Doctor, was just, you promised you'll help. Doctor, yes, and I tried to help. You're, you're the best way I can, but I need more evidence. I need more to go on. Brigadier, well, I think I may be able to help you. Outside City Cottage. Meg, Sam? Sam's not there. Meg goes to the outhouse and drags the chest out. Brigadier's office. Brigadier? What made you go back to the factory, Ransom? I wanted to try to talk to George on his own. I wanted to get a look at the secu- at security area. Really, do you think he's afraid of something? Ransom, I don't know. But this other man who ca- came in, Ransom, Brigadier. Did you find out who this other man was? Ransom, yes, his name's Channing. Now he seemed to have some sort of mental hold over George. Almost as if he was hypnotised. Doctor, you know, Brigadier, I think perhaps a visit to that plastics factory will be in order, don't you? Unit of Field HQ. Sealy, if I don't get home soon, I'm going to be in terrible trouble with the missus. Let me go, sir. Moreau, don't worry, Mr. Sealy. We'll let your wife know where you are. Now about that Miss Motorites. See, look, look, sir. It's a mistake. I haven't seen nothing. Ro, if you if you tell us where it is, you can go home. See, well, for a bit of money, I reckon. Ro, so you do know where where was one. See, I might. Ro, see, I'm not going to bargain with you. You can tell me everything. You know, and tell me quick. Back at the cottage, Meg unlocks the chest and covers the beeping globe. Control room. Channing, it's less than two miles away. Herbert, aren't you going to arrange to collect it? Channing, that's been done. An autumn in the bracket turns and moves. Herbert, suppose it stops sniggling again. Channing, we're nearly there. Through the trees, across the road, a swarm leader is held in that small building. Unit Field HQ. Moreau, is it in a, in a trunk? See, don't think no one... Uh, couldn't think no think of other, no other place to hide it, Moreau. Don't you realise those things might be dangerous? A car alarms door slams outside. The brigadier, the doctor, Liz, enter Ransom's follows. Row, this, sir, uh, is this man, sir, you found one of the range rights. Brigadier, where is it? Row, at his house, sir. I was about to take a party and collect it. Brigadier, right, I'll go to, in my car. You know the way, Row? Row, yes, sir. Brigadier, oh, Mr. Ransom, would you mind staying here? Brigadier, Dr. Brigadier, I might, might, I think we might come with you, if you don't mind, Brigadier. Good, 
might as well. Rose, Sergeant, but Steely, put Steely in his truck and keep an eye on him. Outside Steely's cottage, Meg covers up the globe again and locks the chest. The dog starts barking. Meg, I'll be quiet, Barney. Stop that now. She gets the chest back into the outhouse just as the dog yelps and keep goes quiet. Then glass breaks out. The furniture is being smashed. But Meg, Barney, what are you at? What are you at? Steely's cottage. Meg goes to the parlour and hears the sounds coming from the next room. Meg, Sam, is that you, Sam? What do you reckon you're playing at? There's a figure in a border suit standing there. Meg, who are you? What do you want? Jordan turns to face her. Meg screams. Meg, you get away. My husband's about, you know. Outside Steely's cottage, Meg runs past the outhouse to lean to get a double-barreled shotgun and loads it. The old one approaches. Meg, you saw me load it. Get out of here or I'll blow your hole in you. Get back. I'm not joking. Get back. He fires both barrels. They just leave a stain on the boulder suit. The old one advances. Meg, oh, no. Oh, get back. Oh, no, oh. Control room, Channing. The signal was muffled. Search. We must find it. We must find it. Outside, see this cottage. The Meg is lying on the ground. The old one is inside. Ripping the picture wrecks. There's a cottage apart. Finally, it comes out and goes to the outhouse. See this cottage. Everything is quiet until someone knocks at the door. Brigadier? Oh, see. Miss Ely? Miss Ely? Brigadier, murder, oh. Leaves the doctor picked away f- over broken furniture in China. Brigadier, check the rest. There's a noise outside. Outside. See this cottage. The Brigadier and the Moreau rush out to see the Elton. With an open chest, they shoot at it. Brigadier, get a platoon out here fast. Control room, Channing, we call, we call. Herbert, what's happening? We're Channing, Channing, unit. Too many, we call. The doctor and Liz run out of the cottage to see the Elton flee. The Brigadier takes a shot, final shot at it. Channing, we call. Herbert, Channing? Channing, there are too many. Herbert, what? Channing's small leader has been taken by unit soldiers. Herbert, how do you know that? Channing, I know. Herbert, why didn't the old one have destroyed them? Channing, because I recalled it. It's too soon for a major battle. We must delay unit. A bleeping sound from the unit control unit. Channing, Ransom has returned it to the area. He shall, we should also deal with him. Outside, Steely's cottage. Steely's cottage. Liz is tending to Meg while the doctor examines the globe. Brigadier, how is she? Liz. All right, as far as I can tell. I think we ought to get her to a hospital, though. Brigadier, right. I lay on an ambulance. The brigadier leaves. Doctor. You know, this really is most interesting. You must examine it in the laboratory. Liz. What do you, do you make of it? Doctor, well, I was right about its shape, wasn't I? The signal must have been muffled by the metal, the tr- that trunk. It's most interesting. Liz, suppose it explodes like the other one. Doctor, there's no reason why it should, as long as it was be treated gently. Unless, of course, there's a less of what? Doctor, it has a built-in destruct impulse. In that case, we just have to risk it. Liz, Doctor, suppose that thing comes back for it. The thing is currently cutting its way for the canvas at the H- field of Field HQ. He also enters and points its weapon at ransom. Control room. Channing, destroy, total destruction. The Dalton fires. Ransom is blasted backwards. Off the bench, he's lying on. Then his body explodes into a cloud of red gas, which expands and contacts. Back. Then contracts back to itself, leaving nothing behind. Dalton leaves. Outside Steely's cottage. Moreau, the creature got away into the woods, sir. Brigadier Moreau. I want to call them round that plastic, that plastic, that plastics factory. Well, very good, sir. Brigadier, the creature's robot, or whatever it was, obviously came from there. Mr. Ransom describes something very like it. Doctor, yes. And until now, we kn- knew, know a bit more than about those things. I think we should move very cautiously. Unit Field HQ, Sergeant. But he couldn't just have walked out, sir. I had a guard on the front and a tent all the time. Really, never mind that. About the front. What about the back? That's how he got away. Moreau. He must have cut his way out, Doctor. No, he didn't cut his way out. But someone cut it. somebody cut their way in. That his canvas been ripped from the outside. 
Doctor, so they took him from under the, our, our very noses. Doctor, if Mr. Ransom is anywhere, he'd be at a plastic factory. So I suggest we, we go there immediately. Officer Brigadier Liz and Doctor escorted through the empty factory by the sullen woman. While there was out, wait outside Herbert's office, the Brigadier turns to, to see Channing staring at him through the shaped glass of the office, another office door. The model eyes affected slightly unnerving. A little later inside, Herbert, what an extraordinary story. What made him say such a thing, Brigadier? We have to check it out on it, Mr. Herbert. However extraordinary it may be, Herbert, I'd like to hear him tell this story in front of me. Lizzie was coming with us, but unfortunately he disappeared, Herbert. Ah, he was a brilliant young man in many ways. Liz, then why did he, you dismiss him? Herbert, ah, he had some wild scheme for making electronic dolls. Dying design was quite impractical. He was very unpleasant when well, I turned him down. But good ear. So you feel he told his story just to cause you trouble? Herbert, I'm afraid so. It must have been preying on his mind. Herbert, doctor, what exactly are you making here? Herbert, uh, plastic dolls, of course. For a new line, it, but our new line is displaying mannequins at the shops. We send them all over the country, Doctor. And can these mannequins actually move? Herbert, well, they're flexible, of course. But why? that's why we've captivated the market. But I can assure you, they can't move on their own. Brilliant, so Ransom may have been simply making trouble. Herbert, I, don't, I can't think of another explanation. Tell you, yes, well, I think we've seen all we can possibly see here. I'm sorry if we've been a nuisance. Herbert, not at all. I'll see you out, Unit Laboratory. Brigadier, it was that man who led the raid on the hospital. I recognised him from his photo from his photograph, Liz. And what do you and what will you do now? The doctor has a globe hopped up to what looks like an EGG machine. Brigadier, I have to put a call through to General Scooby. If I can get his authority, I surround this place and raid it. Doctor, here, come over here, you two. Look at this, Liz. Have you got something? Doctor, yes, Brigadier. What does that this what does that thing do? Doctor, it measures mental activity. It's fascinating, isn't it? Liz, you mean there's some form of intelligence inside that globe? Doctor, yes, you know. As it, it is as I suspect this globe is it's only it's is this globe is only a container. I wonder whether we can communicate with it. The intercom buzzes. Brigadier, yes, Moreau. You're called to General Scooby, sir. Brigadier, good. Scooby's house. Scooby, what, what's that, Stuart? Autoplastics? Yes. I was there about two hours ago. Why? Unit laboratory. Brigadier, I wondered if you noticed anything very regular, sir. We had some strange, rather strange reports about that factory. Scooby's house. Scooby, nothing at all. No, perfectly normal. Yes, pleasant couple of fellows, I thought. Right, I see well. That sounds pretty serious, sir. Yes, I'll come and see you straight away. I'll give you all the support you need. There's a knock on the door. Gooby, well, goodbye, Stuart. Gooby opens the front door to himself. His shiny-faced duplicate enters and advances. Scooby backs away. Scooby, no, no.